Check us out! From horny teens to men in black to future Tom Cruise, here are seven movies you probably didn't know were based on comic books. When nerdy Anthony Michael Hall and Ellen Mitchell Smith decide to build their own girlfriend, they wind up with 80s sex symbol Kelly LeBrock. She then teaches them lessons about life and stuff. She's alive! Alive! This John Hughes comedy takes its name from a science fiction anthology published by EC Comics in the early 50s. In fact, in Weird Science No. 5, there was an Al Feldstein short story called Made of the Future that depicted a guy building a wife for himself. Though presumably, that version of the story had less Robert Downey Jr. in it. The 90s were home to a number of great comic book adaptations, and not just the ones that relied on the most obvious choices of source material. Case in point, Dark Horse's violent horror book about a supernatural mask that possesses the wearer. The film adaptation went in a much more comedic direction, taking full advantage of superstar in the making at that time Jim Carrey. Now you have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Do ya? Punks? Men in Black and its sequels are adapted from the short-lived series originally published by Air Cell Comics. As with The Mask, the film version took a much more comedic approach to the horror-driven source material, with Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones starring as agents J and K. You know what the difference is between you and me? I make this look good. Both the original Korean version of Old Boy from director Park Chan-wook and its Americanized remake from Spike Lee draw from the same source material, the Japanese manga series. But you can't blame moviegoers for not being aware of that fact when the manga didn't reach American shores until 2006. Besides, everyone was too busy freaking out about that hallway fight scene anyway. This was more of a technicality, but director Joseph Kosinski based his 2013 sci-fi film Oblivion on his own unreleased graphic novel. The Tron Legacy director had begun co-writing the book with Arvid Nelson for publisher Radical Comics, but he eventually decided to shift focus to the film version instead. But hey, we're okay with how it worked out, because now we've got another instance of Tom Cruise running from fire. Director Matthew Vaughn's riff on the spy genre actually originated as a Mark Miller, Dave Gibbons comic simply called The Secret Service. Indeed, Miller has penned many comics that have gotten the movie treatment, including Kick-Ass, Captain America Civil War, Wanted, and more. Kingsman also got a sequel, Kingsman the Golden Circle, though that one's not based on a specific comic book story, and it's just a follow-up to the original film. We're from the Kingsman tailor's shop in London. Maybe you've heard of us. Oh, the Kingsman? Yeah. Huh. Legendary horror director David Cronenberg delivered another great comic book movie with this 2005 drama. A History of Violence stars Viggo Mortensen as the resident of a small town whose past as a criminal comes to light and disrupts his and everyone's lives around him. Cronenberg and writer Josh Olson drew from John Wagner and Vince Locke's 1997 graphic novel, changing a number of elements from its latter half in the process. But the film was nominated for two Oscars for screenplay and supporting actor for William Hurt. Which reminds us, why isn't there an Oscar category for best comic book movie? Someone needs to get on that. If you enjoyed learning about where these movies came from, check out our deep dive into the secret origin of Westworld next. And for all of your movies and comics needs, be sure to like and subscribe to the iGen platform of your choice.